Hello everybody, this is Bud and I know it's been a while since I made this last video um, Reasons being um, that I have had other things to do um, That uh, not really computer related, but also I've been quite busy um, Working on i3 as uh, yet again here. I will try to explain because the last video I made was this uh, uh, video about uh, terminals, uh, how to apply paleta uh, color schemes individually to individual terminals. <clears throat> and uh, after I made this uh, video, I actually wanted to, to continue making a couple of videos about uh, terminals uh, and how I have set up my terminals uh, because there are some interesting things uh, to talk about there and, and some good. Uh, uh, rice nuggets, uh, so to speak, that, that I could show you. Uh, and I, I think I started making a video, but realized that uh, when, when doing that, I, I noticed a couple of annoying lacking features and maybe even some uh, bugs in i3s, which I updated here now yesterday. Let's look at that uh, release note. Uh, well, that was, yeah, as, as it always is, you know, I make a big release and then it's always followed by some bug fix uh, to fix some annoying thing I, I missed, whatever. Here is the actual big release here, smoother mover. Uh, and I call it that because I have uh, reworked i3 corn, so it is now actually very smooth and very uh, uh, much better than it used to be. Uh, I reworked the script to now use FIFO which made moving and resizing a lot more responsive with no lag and much less stuttering. Um, and this this is something <laughs> that took a lot of, of effort to get this right. Uh, I might talk a little bit more about the process soon uh, but believe me I, I, I've many many days uh, I worked on this uh, because whatever, <laughs> but the, uh, there is no new, uh, no new functionality, no new features. You can just move uh, and resize the windows. But if you have ever seen me do this before, you see now how much <laughs> more fluent and smooth it, it works. Uh, and okay, I'm, I'm praying now to the demo guide gods here that look how smooth I can also. And I release the key, it immediately stops, there's no lag, it's like completely responsive now. It wasn't like this before. Uh, so, huge improvement, no new features really, but it works completely different. Uh, and it was a, re a, a struggle to get this working. Um, i3 WizWiz just added some debug variables for active window ge geometry and active workspace geometry. This is, I don't think anyone <laughs> cares about this really. Uh, but i3 WizWiz, uh, if you just execute the command, it prints a table of uh, the, the visible windows, uh, leaving out the floating window. Um, so the visible windows, uh, the instance name of, of, of the windows, you can see the instance name, instance name here, pcmnfm is the file manager here, open here, I guess it's a bit confusing having it empty like that, so let's do that. Qt browser and i3 is the instance name of this terminal here. Uh, maybe we should open info instead. <coughs> um, but you can also use i3 vis vis. This is something I, I changed in, in the update before this one. No, I don't remember, uh, so I th guess we have to look at the help screen here. Um, here it is, debug format. Uh, so you specify, no, you don't need to do, yeah, debug. And then, then there are a bunch of variables here, for example, gap, wall, group, pos. So if we do that, let's just copy that. Debug is the option I was looking for. There, and now you see it prints here uh, gap and group pos. Uh, those variables are printed here. 
uh, and gap is actually that's like an internal uh, thing that is used inside uh, or in the script it's not as you can see I don't have any gaps because that's not what this means it means that the yeah whatever it means how much distance uh, the, the point is moved to test for a new window group position uh, that means that this is a tabbed, or it doesn't have to mean that it is a tab, but if we add a couple of more terminals here, and then we move this one, so now it should say group position 3, because it have that position in the group, if everything is working. It works! Demo God's being nice. Wall, it doesn't print that at all, um, because uh, that is only printed if we, if we also specify a direction. I, let's see, if I do right, what does it say then? No, that didn't work. Um, uh, ah, that's right, you have to also... It, it, it's kind of weird, this. It's it, it, uh, instance U? I don't know. Ah, that means up. Okay, okay. So. Okay, this is how it works here. <laughs> don't even know, know how. There, okay, okay. Uh, with the option instance, that means... Uh, <laughs> it's so weird, nothing makes any sense here. With, with, and then instance. Then it prints the instance name, but you can also use uh, class. And you have to specify one of these uh, extra options, there are some more. Uh, uh, and then you can also specify a, a, a direction, for example, right. I thought you could also write right, but apparently you can only write single character here. Uh, so right, that means move to the right. We get the exact same list here, but it will change these debug variables. I don't know why I'm talking about all of this. Whatever, I have, <laughs> I have added uh, a couple of more debug variables here, so you can get the geometry of, of uh, windows with, with uh, these ones, the active window and the active workspace geometry. Whatever, you can experiment with this, maybe you can find use for it. i3 king, this is cool, this one is really cool. I, I <laughs> uh, Because this is, this is the, what it's all about. I made this video, uh, Tiling Royale, where I presented my new uh, script, i3 King. Then I also made this video, where I defeated the Red Box of Death with i3 King. Um, and uh, realized uh, a, a different way to, to, to use it, to automatically um, apply all window rules if, if uh, the window, if the i3 session restarts and stuff like that. It, it, this i3 King thing, when I added that to my uh, uh, script collection, uh, it, it gave me a lot of new ideas and, and it, it feels like everything is really coming together with this. I'm, I'm so happy that I made this i King. And here, this feature here is kind of weird. Uh, I added two new options, con id and print commands. So, yeah, we could do that. If we do i3 get here, because that will get, just print the uh, container ID of the active window. And then we could i3 king con ID, and then we pass this as the argument to con ID there. This will execute i3 king uh, and pass this container ID, which is the cont container ID of this blue terminal that we have active here. Uh, then i3 king will take that container ID and f uh, find all um, properties of that window. Uh, for example, the, the instance name, the class name, the window title, and the, the window type, which is the things we see here, by the way. Uh, and then it will take those, send those properties to the rules and, and just match that single window if there is exist a, a... I guess if we do verbose here also, we, we should see that. It should execute uh, the rule uh, that belongs to that window. Ah, okay, then it prints all, all the rules, but here... Yes, it's only only this one. Uh, but it also prints a, a list of all the rules, because that's how the verbose option works. Maybe I should remove that, because that's a bit annoying when you do this this particular thing, but... 
Uh, and this is a script or the command that it executed. Change the title format to term small uh, and uh, exec no startup ID i34, pass the container ID, move to A. And the thing is, we didn't see anything happening because it is already in container A and it already have that uh, 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 it already have that title format. But if the window wouldn't be in container A, maybe it's floating, for instance, and we do the same thing. You see, now it places the window in container A, and that's uh, that's what I use this for. Could also use this, I guess. Would have been a much better demo since it's also demoing the other option there. Print commands, that means it will not execute anything, it will just print uh, the command uh, that is being sent to i3 message. Uh, and this, whoops, wrong key uh, there. As you can see, it just prints the exact same thing here, even if it's floating, whatever. Um, I added these two options just because I wanted a new feature to i3 Fira, and I have actually just showed, showed you that. Uh, super said here, that is i3 Fira dash A, or i3 Fira um, float is the command, is the long option command. Um, and that has been part of i3 Fira since the beginning. Uh, I think it was called like auto layout, that's why it's called A, uh, but I changed it, changed uh, the name uh, of the long option to float uh, a long while ago, I don't remember when. Um, and what it's used for is um, toggle the floating state of a, of a window. Float, now it's styled. Now it's floating. But what also happens now behind the scenes is that if the window is floating, and we do i3 theta float, or i3 theta a, maybe that's better, it's less confusing since it's the command that my key binding fires up here on super Z. And that's a key binding, I've had it since day one of i3 theta, basically. Uh, you see, it's, a, it's a little bit slower here, but it actually always, uh, it executes the i3 king rules uh, before it makes it tiled now. And uh, um, that means that, for instance, even if the A container doesn't exist here, it will still execute i3 theta move to A, and that will also show the container and all that, and that means I can now pop out windows like wherever. It will never break my my layouts. It will always place them. You see, this is placed here in the monitor, this is placed in the D container, this is placed in the D, D container, A container, everything works nice. It's this is a huge uh, uh, improvement of of, uh, <laughs> of my life because sometimes, especially with these monitor tabs, sometimes you, you mess up and, and they end up something like this and then you want to move it back into the monitor, you move it up, but then it places itself in a tab next to the monitor. You don't want that, you want it in the monitor. And it's almost impossible to move these terminals into this uh, tab group thing here. But now I can just do that and then it's... It works nice, so that's really cool. Um, uh, and it was a super easy function to uh, functionality to add. Now when I had i3 king in place, and also it also it only does this automatic uh, testing for i3 king variables if i3 king is running in the background. So if I would close i3 king here, now i3 king the demon so to speak is not running in the background, uh, and I try to tile this window. Uh, it will probably uh, place it in the same container because that's that's the default uh, of i3 theta to always place it in the A container. But if the A container wouldn't be visible, for instance, just places it in in the B container. And if that wouldn't be visible, it probably places it in the C container here. So, um, but if i3 king is running, then it does that magic thing. So I just have to start i3 king, and now it works. Um, and of course, you have to have the window rules and all that stuff set up, but uh, you probably have if you are running i3 king, you know. Um, really happy with that feature. Uh, also added on close directive to i3 king. So in the i3 king uh, configuration file, you can. Um, you cannot just add like a global and the default rules. You can also add uh, 
on close rules and they are of course uh, rules that will only execute when a window is uh, being closed and matching uh, the rules so i can show you my i only use it for one single thing um, but i think it's a very valid uh, thing so let's see if we can find it here it is uh, i have this rule instance equals mtga.exe because this is a, a game running inside wine or with wine or however you say it so it, it, it's a game that i play a little bit too much um, and here's the normal rule for that uh, when that window is created it changes the tile format to this and then it uh, moves it to workspace 2 it makes the window full screen and then it uh, moves the focus so to speak to workspace 2 uh, so that means when I start this game, it will be displayed full screen and I will be automatically taken to workspace two. And I, I really like that uh, setup because then I can just toggle to workspace one and uh, do whatever I want to do there and then toggle to workspace two and there I have my game full screen, you know. Uh, the annoying thing is that when you exit the game, uh, you are uh, left on workspace two, an empty workspace two usually because my workspace 2 is usually just empty, I only use one workspace, except for things like this. Uh, but now when I close on close here, uh, same uh, criteria, instance mtga.exe. So when I close a window with this instance name, it will just uh, execute this command, bring me back to workspace 1. So that makes that little thing uh, much more uh, uh, intuitive or whatever. Uh, small detail but you can do some really nice things with that um, and i was uh, i had this somewhat set up before uh, i made i3 king but using that python script which i'm not sure if i have mentioned but i don't use any python ipc scripts or anything anymore i can use this for everything now uh, and i i haven't really decided uh, because this means that this triggers on the window event close there are some other window events, for example, title and focus, and it wouldn't be a big deal at all to add those uh, uh, events as well to i3 King. And I, I have been thinking about maybe doing that. Um, yeah, we'll see. But this, this is something I added in this update, at least. Um, i3 run, um, change that a bit so you can... Um, uh, uh, enter commands after double dashes on the command line like this. So I3 run instance sublime text and then dash dash and then you write the command without the need to enclose the whole command in, in quotes. You see here the old way and this still works by the way you, you do dash dash command or dash e uh, and then pass a single word as the argument and this sometimes gets uh, annoying um, to do because you, you have to, to enclose everything inside uh, quotes and sometimes you want to uh, enclose the stuff that you're passing inside quotes and sometimes nested quotes uh, and this is this is the thing I was talking about initially with um, terminals because terminals are one one such example where um, where you want to pass something like urxvt and then e and then the command and that command in turn can also have quotes with nested commands and stuff like that. It gets really awkward. With this method you just pass it as, as like uh, uh, without the need to, to enclose it in, in quotes. It's much more convenient. Uh, but you have to note that I have to put the double ampersands here for instance inside uh, quotes either single quotes double quotes or use backslash or something escape them some otherwise bash would just interpret that as yeah the double ampersand thing whatever uh, i also don't think that's so common so that might look like well that's not better but there, there are trade-offs uh, in my opinion this is much better but the old method works it's it's not like this change breaks any old scripts or anything also fix uh, an annoying issue with um, uh, some uh, it ha had to do with empty workspaces so I have this key binding uh, let's do this uh, so look at the key binding here and here you can also see I use double dash for for this thing whatever um, old super return that is what toggles this uh, terminal here uh, 
and it have this i3 run option summon and what that means it should bring this uh, terminal to the current workspace so even if uh, if i send this to workspace 2 so shift super 2 move container to workspace 2 and here it is so if i would fire that uh, summon this terminal to this workspace it does that because it summons uh, the terminal here uh, if you don't use the summon option with i3 run, then it will instead move the focus to uh, the workspace where the window exists. If it's not on the scratch pad, then it will always bring it back uh, to the active workspace. Uh, but none of this really worked uh, before this update. Uh, if, the, if the workspace was empty, like it is here, if I would uh, bring that terminal to this empty workspace, now it works. But before the update, it would actually bring me back to workspace one. And there were some other weird stuff uh, related to this issue. Uh, but I discovered it uh, when I noticed that this wasn't working. Uh, and it had it, it have to do with empty workspaces uh, not being handled correctly with uh, i3 list. So I fixed that. Uh, and I, I, I actually believe this, this might have been uh, the, the root to some other obscure issues that me and others might have had with i3 FIDA, so I'm, I'm glad I've sorted that out. Um, and that also made me realize that i3 list, uh, when you fire i3 list, you know, it prints a uh, like a summary or what to call it of, of the current i3 session here with a lot of, of keys, especially about the active uh, window and the active uh, um, workspace and stuff like that. And the thing is, when you had a had an empty, yeah, we can do that. Let's go to workspace two here. Uh, when you have an empty empty workspace, the active container is actually the workspace container. And when you fired i3 list uh, on an empty workspace, now of course it isn't an empty workspace because we have this window, uh, the floating window here. Uh, but if we didn't have that, but still fired up uh, i3 list, which you could do in a script, you know, uh, behind the scenes. Uh, then the workspace you see here AWC that is active window uh, container ID this floating windows container ID but on an empty workspace this AWC that would be the same as the uh, uh, workspace container ID and that could also uh, make things messed up because it believed then that the workspace itself was uh, the active window but it wasn't it, it, it it was the active container, but the active container and the active window doesn't have to be the same thing. But in a way, that is how I uh, treated it before I realized this issue. But now all of that should be sorted out and, and work better. This is that thing I just showed you about the, the automatic uh, triggering of the i3 king rules. Really happy about that. i3 menu added this option and I also uh, went through the i3 menu script a bit, cleaned it up. Uh, there's more, more to... Uh, work to do there really but uh, it, it works fine um, but I added this list uh, directory option so you can do this i3 list list directory and then pass a directory for example the home directory and then it will just print a unrecognized option list direct just this now i3 list no no it's not i3 list it's i3 menu <laughs> list directory give it the uh, home uh, home folder as the argument here to list directory and that will give us a menu with uh, the home home directory and you can see it, uh, this is the default menu, like a D menu style. And here we can see the content on my home directory, uh, all the files and directories. It doesn't make any difference if it's a file or if it's a directory. But if I select one of these, let's select PIX here, which is a directory in my home directory. I select that, uh, take a look here now in the terminal. It prints uh, the full path to what I selected there. This might sound, uh, look like a nothing burger, but it's uh, this, little thing here it actually makes uh, a lot of my scripts i was doing this all all the time that's why i added this because i noticed how common this pattern is to list the uh, list a directory 
um, to do this, uh, and I think I show it even in in the. Um, uh, I, I use something like it in in this video about uh, the, the color schemes. I, I create this menu to to select uh, a, a color scheme. Um, and to do this bef without this option, you have to first specify uh, store the the directory in a variable, um, then uh, ls the content of that directory out into uh, i3 menu. Uh, but before you display the 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 items in i3 menu, you have to make sure that the full path of, of the items are not being displayed because you just want the, the file name. You don't want it to say like home slash bud bin, home slash bud downloads. You don't want that. Uh, and then when you got uh, the selection, you have to re uh, prefix the selection with the full path. Now all of that is taken care of internally with by i3 menu. So uh, it 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 will make <laughs> a lot of my scripts like five lines shorter, uh, so it's it's just for convenience. But I think it's a good uh, addition. I fixed an issue with i3 get uh, and the sync option. It got stuck until uh, any window event occurred. It it was a bit annoying. Uh, I think that is fixed now. This feels like an issue. I was uh, going through some of these release notes. It it feels like something that I am. <laughs> I have fixed a couple of times, but then uh, for some reason I, I forget the, about it and, and delete the fix or whatever. I, I, I'm, I will try to get better at this, uh, not reintroducing old issues, but that, this is one of those things, but it, it should be fixed now. The thing is I, I rewrote i 3 get. Uh, I made a big, uh, don't remember if it was this one or... or Maybe this one. I I, I don't remember. I, I rewrote I forget uh, not that long ago. Um, and reintroduced one old uh, issue there uh, with uh, sync option getting stuck. Uh, but the thing is, it got stuck until you got uh, a window event. So and a vi window event is just focusing a different window, and then the script would carry on. So it wasn't the end of the world, but it was annoying. It's fixed. Um, speaking of that, I also cleaned up here the issue tracker. Uh, so I closed all issues, uh, opened a bunch, uh, almost all the all the additions I made to this update had their own issue here that I created myself so I could keep track of what I was doing and everything. And um, also re uh, made uh, huge improvements in, in um, the way I commit things to i3s here now. So now it's uh, starting to get like uh, possible to follow uh, the, the what I have been doing here. Uh, the commits are not like, uh, doesn't include like 500 files each and, and they are much more focused so to speak. And that's that's really good. Uh, and I, I will make, get even better at this. Uh, that's a uh, goal I, I have. Whatever, uh, it feels great. This um, update is is uh, really nice in my opinion. And i3 corn, it it just it works so much better. It it was it was um, basically unusable before this uh, update, and now it works uh, really well. But it, I was very close to giving up on this because it. It was when I was working on i3 corn. It was like I fixed something, I broke something else. I fixed that thing, then I broke the thing that I fixed just before that, and then I got a new idea how to do everything different, and then I did that, and then nothing worked for a while. Then all of a sudden things were working perfectly, except for one small thing. And when I fixed that, then everything else broke apart. It was, it was weird. It was really weird the i3 corn uh, process here, and. Uh, I'm just short here. I'm using a FIFO file. So instead of uh, doing the whole script every time you, you do something with i3 corn, because look here, when I move this left, for instance, you can see in the window here that I have now uh, fired this command 28 times there in just a second or something. Like, yeah, that, that must have been one second here, 24 times. Um, before this update, that would mean that it would execute i3 corn 24 times and with included in that thing is that it would uh, 
do the i3 list 24 times it would uh, do some i3 var and store some marks and stuff like that i have removed all that by the way also but now instead it just uh, prints the commands here to this fifo file and then exits so it doesn't do any of the i3 list stuff and it doesn't do any of the calculating the the window positions and stuff like that it doesn't do any anything of, of this it just uh, exit the script after, after a couple of lines here, uh, printing the commands to a FIFO file instead. Whatever, let's not get into it, but it, <laughs> it was weird. I have never really uh, done this stuff before with FIFOs, and FIFOs are a bit weird to work with. Uh, but I actually got it working, and now it is very close to being just as fast as using uh, the native uh, i3 move and resize commands. And this was something that just didn't work. Resizing float or tiled windows, it was very laggy in the previous versions. And now it it's, works a lot smoother. Um, worth noting here is that if you didn't know this, you can change this, the response time or, or the repeat delay and repeat interval here. This will make this uh, faster and slower. Uh, so just short here what it actually means is repeat delay that is set to 195 here in in my uh, settings uh, this is the delay before each key starts repeating so if i change this to uh, 800 here now i'm pressing up and i will hold up so it, it, it took like almost a second before it started moving it upwards because uh, it's a 800 millisecond delay before it starts repeating the key. I found that for me like 200 feels, feels good. And repeat interval is, is kind of how fast the repetitions will be. So if I change this to 100, 170 milliseconds here, you see, then it gets a lot more... Uh, um, yeah, jagged or, or, or like this, slower. And this is just faster repeats. It takes like 20 milliseconds, then it fires the key, key again, 20 milliseconds. And this also affects this stuff, you know. So, maybe you didn't know about that. That, that can be good to know. It's uh, in, in, you can do this with, with like X uh, set have these options, but uh, th this is one of those things that uh, is like so much easier and better to do with a, a GUI like this and sliders and stuff like that. that you can try test it out immediately. And it's like everything doesn't have to be <laughs> X init uh, settings. We're using X set with all their inconsistent options and arguments and stuff like that. I, I so much prefer this way of doing that. And you can do something similar with, with a uh, mouse here if you need to do that. Whatever. Um, I think um, th th this uh, was a good demo of uh, the new i3s. Let's not talk about uh, the, the comments on my YouTube channel being shadow banned and, and things like that because uh